looking at uh, G, GPE, B6. Notice there's really only one line here, and it just says partition a line segment. This actually uh, has a lot of connections to earlier stuff. Partitioning a line segment is a lot like a dilation, a reduction in a dilation si situation. So that's kind of how it connects. Um, it is fairly um, algebraic in its, uh, in its setup, but really if you've done dilation correctly, this can be uh, quite easy. And even some teachers, I bet, would choose to teach this at the same time as dilations. But um, the idea here, there are a couple of tricks to it. Uh, first of all, they call it a directed line segment because there's a, a, a beginning and an end. And what I mean by that is that if you are partitioning a line segment in a two to one ratio, um, the two comes at the beginning of the directed line segment. So this would be line segment A to B. So this is the beginning, this is the end. So we would be partitioning it so that the two part is here and the one part is here. Now, I think you can kind of see the connection to dilations. If we did a dilation about A, now we would want to take uh, our point B and pull it back. Now we want it to go two of the three there, so it would be two thirds, right? B would bring us to the point we're interested in point P here. Because if we dilate out of A, two-thirds of the distance would land us right here, and uh, we would have our location that would partition it in a two-to-one ratio. So this is a nice connection to the dilation stuff we did earlier. It, uh, it has a few tricks in terms of that this is a directed line segment, that there is definitely a distance, uh, a direction to this. And again, the idea ultimately is that you're cutting this into three pieces, therefore cutting this into three pieces. And when we bring it back two-thirds of the way, we get a two-to-one ratio. So a little bit of tricks in there, but some nice, again, nice review of earlier things in the year.